Bam was on fire. We're fighters. It was a fight the whole meet, and the crowd really carried us throughout the entire thing. Like, the energy was insane, and we loved it. And so to just end that way was a memory I'll have forever. It was amazing. I mean, just to see the work that we put in, in and out every day in the gym finally translate, you know, it's awesome. Um, the energy was indescribable. I, I like to joke and say, like, I black out in the moment, but it was truly like a core memory. I'll remember it forever. And yeah, I'm just really proud of my girls. Louisa, take us through that very last routine. You said sometimes you black out, but how were you able to kind of lock in and focus with kind of how, you know, excited the crowd was and with Suni getting the 10 right before? And did you know what score you needed to get before that routine? I actually don't have any clue. I, <laughs> I like to just block it out in a sense. It lets me really be free and focus on my cues. I look at my teammates. They keep me so grounded and uh, my coaches. And I knew that I had the reps, so um, it wasn't a – of whether or not I knew the score. It was just trusting my training. I'm pretty sure this meet was sold out and I know the students came out. What was it like to have them lining the um, floor tonight? It was kind of a new experience. Absolutely incredible. Like I said, core memory, just looking up. I think it was during the last rotation, everyone was doing the YMCA. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna remember this forever. Yeah, I just, I mean, I looked up in my floor routine and I was like, wow, like Coleman is full. And it just means the world to us to see everybody in there and it, it makes the, the sport of gymnastics better. This is for both you ladies. Just how awesome was it for Ashley's first event against her old team? Obviously, she's an Alabama girl through and through, but how much do you think that meant for her to have the place absolutely banged out and for you guys to compete the way you did? I think... She just has a lot of trust in us. And I like to say that she's like the calmest person I've ever met in my life. So it wasn't who was in the house or who we were competing against. It was just putting what we put in practice onto the competition floor. And I think she would be really proud of us. And we're equally as proud as her because as a first year head coach, she's doing an amazing job. Ashley's home. <laughs> Yeah, this is from Louisa. Uh, near the end, you and Suni Lee were like trading blows like a couple of heavyweight fighters. Uh, what was your mindset in that moment going up against a former Olympic champion? I think it's awesome because I grew up with Suni um, a little bit in the elite track. And so she's the sweetest girl ever. It's not even like a head to head thing. It's she pushes me to be a better gymnast and she's the Olympic champion for a reason. I give my respect to her and her gymnastics is beautiful. But again, just trusting my training and and knowing that that's what competing in the SEC is about, competing with the best. Hi, ladies. For both of you, I'm, I'm sorry I stepped in a little late if you got asked this already, but just this rivalry to see it in gymnastics and to see the level of passion, you know, on both sides when you guys compete, what does that mean to you and just putting that spotlight on gymnastics at the college level? It means everything. The rivalry, it, it's so big. And you can just see, like, the look on everybody's faces. Like, everybody wants it so bad. And, and bo both te like, Auburn's a great team, and so are we. And so it was just, it was amazing to see that level of gymnastics put out there. For either of you, what does it say about this team after probably not having the start you wanted on vault that you were able to come back and finish so strong? The coaches talk about it all the time, but, you know, we're competing in a time where everybody's gymnastics is great, but it's who's going to overcome adversity, who's going to be able to want the one to just switch it and flip it. And those are the teams that are going to be on top. So I think tonight just serves as an opportunity. And we took it with everything that we had. Um, so that just goes to show that uh, we're improving week by week and um, we're not stopping. Kind of building off of that, where do you go from here? And like, how do you kind of work to get some more consistency? Because you've had a few of these meets where you start off kind of slow or like you start out with a bang and then kind of dip down and then you come back strong. How do you kind of find the consistency um, moving forward? 
We're putting it all together. I mean, we just uh, we go back in the gym and we we get our numbers in and we just keep doing what we're doing. We focus on winning each moment. And so I think like we're just we're getting better every week. And I, I'm so excited to see how it all ends up. For both of y'all, just what was that moment like when that final score came up for you, Louisa, and y'all knew you had won the meet? Oh my goodness, that's a great question. I think it was just like super, I could feel like my goosebumps coming in and like the jitters and the fact that we all were just like matching each other's energy at that same level. I wish I could describe it, but you just had to be there. <laughs> I'm still on a high. I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.